is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What'll make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make a difference. Market wise out here, we have the Dow Industrials up 117, NASDAQ up 99, S&P's up 24. Gold, gold contract down $8.80, traded at 1882 an ounce. We have silver up uh, 8 cents, $22.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude down two bucks. $91.68 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up nine ticks, trading 107.28. The 30-year up three at 113.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 435 ticks at 106.231. The euro is at 105. The yen is out here at 149. The British pound is at 121 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world, and the world of uh, Tom O'Brien, folks. I can't. I'm trying to shake this freaking sore. I don't have a sore throat anymore, but I just there's something that's just still lingering there. Anyway, that's why I don't hear the growl. That's why I don't hear the inflection, because if I do it, then I don't have no voice. Anyway, so here's the spy. Bottom line, we what we did with the spy is that we came down to the breakout area. And, you know, we had some good volume here yesterday. It did 104 million shares, and you were going into 100 and... You're actually going into 88 million and 92 million. So that's saying that this is going to get retested here. You're going up today on light volume with 68 million. So we'll see how this shakes out, what kind of a bounce they can get going. But this is not done coming on the way down. We've got to take a look at the queues. Now, the queues are set up differently for sure, because what happened with the queues is that... They broke their swing, but only for one day. So the cues are showing this strong. And when they broke the swing, they broke the swing. Let me see. I believe it's a light of volume. So we get 56. Yeah, 56 versus 61. So you broke that swing with light of volume. You rejected lower price, and then we're at 44 million today. So this is going to get a little juice coming into it today. We do notes and bonds. All these are moving together again. You know, well, they've been moving together for quite some time. The, the note and bond markets were moving with the dollar. Dollar goes up, note and bonds go down. Note and bonds go up, dollar goes down. Dollar goes up, market goes down. You get the 10-year right now. We hit 107.07 today. So that would give us, let's see what this is brought to the 10-year yield. So he hit 4.591. That's a, that's a pretty big number. And then if we get over and we do look at King Dollar, well, you know, let's go to the gold market first because gold has been smoking for sure. So if we take a look at gold, gold was on an ABC structure down here at 1881. So you definitely got more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure down. Now let me put this GC1 on a continuous contract. GC1. Okay, Let's see where our next level is laying out here. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you've already went by the strength that was established in March. That's when, you know, in one week gold went from the 1875 to 1992. So that means you can go to the bottom of that range, which is uh, 1810. 
And right now you're at uh, 1868, 63. And then if we get over and take a look at the dollar, you know, you can see the dollar gave it up a bit today. It looks to me though, that this dollar does want to get into this swing point right here. Hasn't hit it yet, you know. The so the low of the downdraft was the 106 261 area. 281 area. So what does happen is this, is that if that's you know where it wanted to test and then we gave it up, the real key is going to be the type of follow through that we get. I think the dollar has been so strong that more than likely you're going to probably try to go to that swing point. And you can see that the, the amazing part is that the correlation, the correlation is so clean, it's insane. Some of the higher volume stocks inside the, uh, well, let's go inside the NDX first. You got Sirius Satellite, well, that's a, that caught a bid. That's up 13%. Uh, you get AMD up 4.5%. They, they come in with bad numbers. <laughs> That's interesting. Dexcom's up 3.3, and Marvell's up 3. Taken away from it, Workday's down 9, 9%. 9%, holy cow. You get Micron Tech off 4%. Warner Brothers off 2. Let's go to Workday for a second. Let's take a look at this. So workday, the low for the year is 128, the high is 252. You're trading at 209. That's a gap away. Yeah, it's gonna down and fill this whole window. Holy cow. Yeah. That's quite a quite a move in the way down. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise, what we have out here is this. You get uh, United Health putting 43 positive points, Caterpillar 28, Goldman 24, Home Depot 14. Taken away from it, Boeing 27, IBM 10, Procter & Gamble 7, 7 7.5. Now, if we do look at the Dow Industrials, what you're going to see and the Dow, this is like a whole different chart compared to the S&P and the NASDAQ. You know, when you take a look at this, you're going to see that, you know, we've been going sideways for quite some time here, man. You know, it kind of never made it as high as the other ones. And what you are doing, though, is that you're coming into huge volume on those two monthly spikes on the way down. So those two spikes, they're going to have, you know, a hard time basically getting through that. Well, it's going to get, uh, you know, so if anyone's doing real estate transaction using an FHA or a VA loan, you want to have a real heads up here because if the government does shut down on October 1st, right, the way this works, folks, is that it won't hit the FHA and VA loans right away, but within 10 to 14 days it will. So if you're in that, try to accelerate the close on the deal because that this is a whole different ball game, meaning that, you, you know, you want to get in for that close. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow up 137, NASDAQ's up 122, S&P's up 29. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 169. You get the Nasdaq up 139. S&Ps are up 33. So we were just talking about the aspect of uh, if you are in a deal anywhere in the country with the uh, you know closing and the other uh, side of it has an FHA or VA loan, you want to be well acclimated to the deal if, in fact, we do shut down. Because at the beginning of the shutdown, it's not going to be a big deal, okay? Uh, but if they do shut down for a longer period of time, my understanding is that within 10 to 14 days, those loans will not get funded because the, they'll eventually get funded. But what's going to happen is that there's going to be layoffs. There's going to be no one there to go over them, so, which is, you know, pretty intense because that will hold up a huge amount of deals. You know, we'll see, we'll see how this is going to shake out. It, lo it looks like we're coming in for it, though, that's for sure. And always, we, we, you know, we've been through this so many times is that, the beginning of this is not a big deal. Well, let's put it this way. It's not a big deal unless you're one of the ones that are getting laid off at the beginning. You end up getting your money, but the bottom line is we know that, you know, everyone has bills to pay, you know, on a, on a weekly and on a monthly basis. So, you know, that's, you know, that, that's how it basically shakes out. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, you can reach Tim every trading day, folks, at Ord, O R D dash oracle.com that's odd dash oracle.com tim Oid, what's going on brother well we got a i getting a lot of emails here over the last couple of days which uh, i bet you are. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, not ideal emails because I know. of the gold market for some reason everybody's uh, really worried here and that's usually a good sign um so actually we'll, we'll start with uh, We'll kind of just go through this one more time. Yeah, well, so hey, we let's, let's, with, let's talk about this for a second. Tim, let's just talk about this for a second because, you know, the, yesterday there's no doubt that, you know, the equities were holding up, gold was holding up even, in, you know, in this aspect with the market pulling back. But they both got destroyed yesterday, right? So yep. in the context of, you know, years past, right? Because, you, you know, you've been doing this a long time. And we know that, the deal is, is that when there's fear, that's when you're actually going to be buying. So let's let's talk about the aspect of the the, the amount of emails that you are getting versus the ones in the past, because we both know, you know, and anyone else out there, and we have a lot of listeners that are 
trade gold and silver. This is what always happens, folks. It's like, and I always is, you know, I shouldn't use that word, but I can tell you, it's, you think you're going to take off, you go down again. You think you're going to take off, you go down again. And then you take off and go to the freaking moon, you know? Right. So, yeah, so true. It, it, it's in a while, I mean, it's, you know, so, so in that aspect, where are you in the context of the emails? <laughs> you know, like a, from a well, one to well, ten. This is kind of, I guess, common experience. Actually, the the more emails I get, the more solid that bottom become. Yes. And I had these in the past, you know. But, you know, a week from now, if the market does rally like I think it will, it'll all be forgotten. Oh, for all sure. The, no, the, no, no, no. Listen. All the stuff is like they just flip, and now I'm the greatest guy in the whole world. Oh, listen. <laughs> so, I Listen, we've both been doing it long enough. I know that it's like, you know, this time here and the time before, okay, meaning both times when the, you know, the GDX was going, the rest of them going, I'm saying, oh, this looks like it's going to be it. Both times is like, nope, I'm going to flush you down the freaking toilet again. <laughs> yeah. um, and we know that what happens, folks, is that you know that you're getting closer and closer. And, and like I said, it's easy for Tim and I to actually say this because we're in a much longer situation, you know what I mean? And you know, if you're at the beginning of your career doing this, it's like, oh, my God, it's the end of the world if you're over your head. But if you're not over your head, what ends up happening is that you need these types of flush outs, which I know none of us like. But the reality is, is that, OK, once one of these flush outs, when they come back, they come back with a vengeance, you know. So right. I, I was just Actually, you know, the go ahead. I'm sorry. Now, I was just curious in the context of, you know, how many yet. I know I'm not getting any gold calls, so that's really a positive, too, you know. Yeah. Uh, actually, it was probably like August of last year's kind of similarity, kind of similarities to that. Yeah. So, and there was a low last August, and it bounced up, and in, in ABC, now we've kind of been going down since uh, a while. But actually, let's just look at the short term. Uh, skip to chart three. Okay. Because that's kind of... Which is which? It kind of explains where everything's going on. And what I did, uh, this chart goes back to uh, end of 2022. So it's about nine months. But you know, you make the chart too big and it gets too much cluttered. But I want to point out that if you look at that uh, pink area in February, March. Yes. Uh, so anyhow, the GDX, which is the top window, made a little bit lower low. And both those indicators, window one and window two, made higher lows. Um, I see. I, I didn't really pick. Uh, I didn't pick up the top, but uh, well, it actually did pick up the top. But we're not going to screw around with the tops. We're just going to look at the bottoms. Yeah. Because uh, that's kind of what we're in right now. So if you go back, go into uh, June and beginning of July, uh, GDX made lower lows. Obviously, I got a red arrow pointing that down. And both those indicators made higher lows. So, and now you flip to the current period. Uh, GDX has made a lower low than the August low, and both those indicators made higher lows. So we have a lot of similarities going on. Now, you need to get the blue areas when both indicators are above minus 10, and the red areas when the indicators both indicators are below minus 10. Right now, we're below minus minus. 10 on both indicators, but you're making, on both those indicators, you're making higher lows where GDX is making lower lows, and that's a similar happen in the past, in the past lows. And that just looks at the short-term picture, and that's, uh, so and that, we're going to look at the bigger, Tim, bigger pictures that, of, pay, or, of page one, or uh, charts one and two, but anyhow, that's a short-term picture. And, and that's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good divergence, Correct. Yeah, it's yeah. a good divergence. You know, right. it, it's worked in the past, and the bigger the divergence, the normally uh, right. the more worthwhile it is. Uh, so it's a, uh, you know, we're breaking new lows. Both those indicators, that ex those both indicators measure the advanced decline, you know, advanced to decline, and also measures the up down volume. And that's right. what makes the market up down right. volume, advanced decline. Right. So even though the market GDX a little bit weaker, breaking uh, to a minor new low. Both those indicators on the advanced decline and up down volume were making higher lows. And in the past, that's uh, usually uh, yep. a bullish sign going forward. Pretty cool, man. So, yep. I yeah. like it. I so, like it. Yeah, no doubt. 
Okay, so, so anyhow, that, 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 but we, we can look at the bigger picture. I don't know if we have time. Um, but it, it's the same uh, scenario I've been showing, which is that bullish percent index slash gold miners index. Uh, both the weekly and the daily are giving bicycles in this area, and they don't tell you exactly what day it is. Right. But the weekly gave, gave a buy back on August 28th, so that's over a month ago, or it actually is a month ago. Yeah. And it's still hovering in the same area. So it's it's uh, nothing's really changed here. Just just stay right so. there, Tim. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We're gonna be right, coming right back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now is trading up 193. Nasdaq's up 150. S and P's are up 36. Uh, stay right there, folks. Tim and I come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Wood, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and prowl on us. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. He has a great newsletter, so check it out. Uh, so uh, I am on the bigger picture now, Tim. Uh, I, you All can right. just tell me where to go, actually. Uh, actually, I just sent you over a chart, chart six. Okay. And uh, I sent it to Tommy and uh, Jacob and you. Perfect. Uh, did you pull it? Can you pull it up? I can get it. Yes, I can. One second. If not, we we, we can talk about chart four. 
Let, let's talk about chart four right now, and I'll have Jacob get this in the, the, the thing for me. One, two, three, four. Okay. Go ahead. Let's do yeah, four, four first. Yeah, yeah. Let's do four. It's, okay. This is the uh, the SPY goes back. Uh, looks like about two years, or whatever. And the the bottom window is the five day average of the trend. And I got a, a square box around that one. And the next window up is the ten day average of the trend. And uh, the ten day average uh, trend. Uh, 1.2 and higher is bullish. Uh, two days ago, we hit 1.9. You know, it's, it's barely there, but it's there. But the five-day never reached that. I think it got to 1.26 or something. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's not, you know, you, you like, the, the more panic you get, the, the better it is. But this chart, uh, the bottom, or at least the second window up, leans is bullish. And the bottom window leans bullish. I prefer to be higher, so it's kind of a, you know, we're close, you know, and also look, uh, you're closer. The more panic you get, the better off you are. Right. So, you, you know, if you can get these five day trends up to around 1.5 and higher, you're screaming at a bottom. Right. You know, uh, you know 1.26, is that close enough? Maybe. Uh, a trend, you know, a 10 day trend up around 1.6 is a lot better than 1.2 because you got a lot more panic. You got, you know, more people screaming at you. Sure. Uh, but, you know, 1.12 history shows it's usually a good number. Or, one, yeah, 1 1.2. So we're probably making a little bit. If you look at the SPY charts, I got a line drawn across, across there at 1.20. Okay, so, 4 Tim, I got I the, the new chart up for you. Okay. Let's just, let's just flip to that. Okay, I have it up. Okay, so there's different ways to ma measure panic. You can do it with a trend and ticks. Yeah. You know, uh, trends 1.2 or higher is usually panic. But you can also do it with a VIX. Acceleration of the VIX actually is panic. The faster that VIX goes up, the more panic is present. So when you go in the bottoms, you know, the VIX goes right through the ceiling. Right. So the faster it goes, the more panic there is because everybody's trying to get out the you know the cell door at the same time. Yes, and that VIX measures that. So what I did was I, I put a few indicators on on the uh, VIX. One's the RSI. You know, it gets up around seventy. That's the acceleration of the VIX. And also to do it uh, uh, next. That's the bottom window. The next okay. window up is the rate of change, and I got a two period rate of change. It gets up around thirty. That's easy, you know, acceleration of the VIX. And I also did a, a Bollinger Band. In other words, if it's a, a top Bollinger Band, that's when it gets above one. And that's also acceleration. So you need, I showed this chart before in the past, and uh, we talked about it a little bit. And it usually does a pretty good job identifying where lows are. All those lines, those red lines on the chart, they show the times where two of the three, if not all three of those indicators, uh, flipped into bullish territory. Okay. You know, if you if you notice, if you all look back there, you know, it, it all, the album came near lows. Right. And we hit that, uh, we hit that uh, yesterday, a day before, we had acceleration of that VIX going straight up. And we got two of the three. We got the RSI hitting uh, 70. We also got the upper Bollinger Band being hit. Yeah, and I just so, put up the Bollinger Bands of the VIX. And you can see it. I mean, last two days, no doubt, yeah. it went right outside them, and yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so so when it gets above one, you're up, you're up above the upper Bollinger Band. When it gets below uh, zero, you're below the Bollinger Band. When you're at 50, you're at the midpoint of the Bollinger Band, which is that line. Yes. So this is another form of, you know, not all indicators work all the time, so I'm always looking for, you know, I know what the market needs to do to get a bottom it needs to panic right and so the, the more indicators you can find that show panic is present the more lightly or the, the more I, I guess right you can be i guess yeah uh so i'm thinking we're setting out a low here you know my 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 thought is is the low yesterday or do we go down and test that low right yeah, you know, and that's the dilemma i got here and if you know no, i know uh, and, 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 the SP, and so yes uh, yesterday SPY chart uh, I don't know if you can do that or not, but, you know, we're testing a gap down of uh, two days ago. We gap down, we're testing that gap right now. Right. If the gap's going to be tested in a lighter volume, at least 10% of lighter volume, that gap's 
probably going to be resistance, and there's a good chance we can test yesterday's low. And chances are we test yesterday's low, that's probably going to be the bottom. Right. Um, because yesterday, yesterday's and, low is a high-volume low. Even going back yeah. to the breakout area. Yeah, the breakout area had 91 million shares. I'm talking about the SPY now, and it hit 104 million. When we did, you know, when you, if I go all the way back to that, that May, you know, we really broke topside. That's what it did. Right. So, so you know, the, the question is, you know, sometimes these uh, panic lows are not tested like until a month later. Yeah, sometimes right. Maybe, yep. you know, and that's with the them. dilemma. Yep. So we're setting near a low, but is yesterday the low or do we go down tomorrow and test that low or do we test it a month from now? And that's the problem with technical analysis, you know. Exactly. You know, yeah. uh, and also the, the volume uh, today is going to be really important. We test that gap. Up uh, two days ago, yeah, two days ago, on high, uh, on equal volume, that's all it needs. Then probably the low is yesterday. So that's what my dilemma is today. Do I buy today or do I take a chance that yesterday's low could be tested? When you say so two days I, ago, now are we talking um, on Tuesday or Monday? Let's see. Today, Thursday, Wednesday, be Tuesday. Tuesday. So Tuesday. Tuesday look, see if you look at. Yeah, we did 96 million, and we're not going to do 96 million today. We're at 73. Uh, you'd be surprised. You're this close. A lot of times that volume comes in. See, the spy doesn't, volume wise, it goes all the way to 415. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I, also, I get that. I'm, I'm speculating, but I get that. But yeah, you know. It, 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 I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm really surprised all this volume kind of comes in on Yeah, oh, there's no the doubt. Close. There's a huge amount of volume at the close. Uh, there's no doubt, yeah. Particularly yeah, in so. the in the small caps, that blows my mind. The, the IWM, the amount of volume that comes in at the close is like insanity. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I you know. So, anyway, I'm trying to figure that out. So, you know, I got some evidence that we're low. I thought we wouldn't get to 420, and actually, we we didn't quite get to 420, which is I'm calling support. Uh, do I have a ch chart of that? Yeah, if you go to chart four. Yep. If you can pull that up, I have a four that dotted blue line across the chart. Um, yes, that's that 420 area. Normally, you kind of slam against it, and we didn't, we didn't, you know, we didn't quite touch it. So that worries me a little bit. But you know, to, to me, when you know, if we've seen a, a lot higher trend readings over the last uh, um, couple of days, I've been a lot happier. But yeah, you know, maybe we're setting out a low here. My, my chances are. I don't think we're going to blow, keep blowing down here. I think we're at worst we're going to test yesterday's low, and uh, we, we may not even test that low. So, uh, stay right uh, there, Tim. I'm we got one more out. segment. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I come right back. We have the Dow up 79, Nasdaq up 101, S&P's up 21. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 92, NASDAQ is up 104, S&P is up 22. We're talking about man, Mr. Tim Wood. Tim, let me ask you, you know, I, I know you, you, you've, you've been educated us on all these different types of um, technicals that you look at and, you know, explaining that, you would have much rather the trend get to the 1.20 because the fact of the matter is you're saying that was your bread and butter. If you, if you could put them in order, and this is, I know it's a tough question, but if you could put them in order, what would the best order that you would like to see for a bottom? Uh, well, actually, the trend over the years has always been, I, I, I screwed with it, actually went away from it for a while. But the trend over the years has always had the most consistent yeah, yeah, um, right. uh, success ratio. And I used to do a lot of stuff with the ticks. Right. But uh, I, I do, uh, and the only reason why I kind of shied away, not shied away from it, but uh, I get my charts through stock charts. Yes. And... And uh, they quit doing the ticks. I see. Tick at all. There's no. Uh, and I was I was coming up with some combination. I was multiplying the trend times the tick. Okay. And I was start I was starting to see some evidence of. So now you're, you're taking the trend times the ticks on the close, and I was coming up with you know some pretty good numbers identifying the low, and all of a sudden the, their tick stuff then than generate anymore. I see. And it's hard to do other, uh, but I wish I had that back because I could really go far with that. Because I understand ticks, uh, matter of fact, when we first met, right. you know, I was doing more stuff with the ticks than I was with the trend. Oh, let me tell you something, yeah. man. The, the ticks to me, still to this day, I mean, at, at that 2007 low, I almost got blown out of the water, but the bottom line is I didn't. The actual day of the low because, and what it ended up happening, Larry Pesavento and myself were on the phone together, because just like you and I used to trade on the phone together, that's what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And that f second tick came in, man, and I said, no, this is it, man, this is it. And sure enough, it was, and then it took off like a rocket ship, man. Uh, because yeah. there, was, there was so many that came in simultaneously, you know what I mean? So I know what you're saying, man. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Well, if you look over, you know, the last, uh, I'll just read you the last four days on the close. I do this manually now. Yes. So we had 502 yesterday, 4 and 3, 33 the day before, 326 the day before that, 390 before that. So you got four days of just constant down tick uh, readings on the close. So that's, the ticks is kind of really blowing out to the downside. That's the reason, one of the reasons why I'm kind of leaning bullish here. The trend is okay. But if I had more evidence taking the, the tick times the trend, I bet just from looking at this, I'd probably be getting a signal uh, yeah. today, or if not yesterday. Okay, uh, cool. So, so I'm kind of, let's take one more chart, to take a look at chart five. Chart five, okay, I got it, there we and, go. Yeah, yep. th yeah, this is a way from, this chart goes back to 2000, mid-2014. And so this looks at the bigger picture, it doesn't tell you exactly where the day of the low is, 
but does get you in the vicinity of where that low is. And all those red lines and all that shaded area are times when the uh, the bottom window is the equity put call ratio readings. It's a CBOE. In other words, it's a put call ratio reading for the equities yeah. on a 21-day average. The next one up is a, a five-day. And so when you get a 21-day, which is basically a, a whole month. Yes of of uh, daily put call ratio readings and so you got people just re- leaning on the puts here uh, on a monthly time frame and actually on a weekly time ca- time frame because the five day trend is up there too so uh, so this market's not in a crash mode at all it you know people are pretty bearish here for whatever reason and so that's one of the reasons why I wasn't kind of shy going short because everybody else is short or, or in puts, uh, which is another way to be short. So I kind of stayed, stayed away from the short side. Right. But now I want to lean on the long side because everybody is on the put side. Oh, well, for sure. So, and you know what's amazing, so actually? What, so, so I'm trying to figure out what day are we talking here. Are I we know. talking yesterday, today, or first part of next week? But right. It's not months away. Uh, whatever this low is, it's, it's close. Yeah, no, I, I, can, I can see what you're saying. The amazing part, Tim, is that we have actually haven't come down that much. And like when you no. just brought up the aspect of, you know, a full 21 days, and it, the average is 21 days, trading days in a month, folks, okay? So it's a full month that you have had people, you know, basically, you know, loading up on the short side. And this market's not down at all, you know, for something like that. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, it's down. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If they waited, you know, and, and, and they kind of remain low, you know, it's, it's another it's another fear thing going on. You know, people are fearful of the market going down, so they buy puts. So that's kind of like a fear thing going on. Yes. So, I mean, and, and they're putting their money in it. You know, these are actually transactions. This is not like hypothetical. Oh, yeah. yeah no, I no, no, no. I did, you know. You so, know. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. there's, there's no doubt, and you know, if we if we even go back to May, you know, when you picked out that bottom there, I was like really surprised that the fear could come in so quick. You know, the, yeah. that's what it seems like we've had happen here. That you know, you just pull back a little, and and I I can get that just if I, if I wasn't you know into technicals as much, I could get it because. You know, we've been going up for so long, man. It's like, you know, it's like one of these deals that, okay, how much further can you actually go? But guess what? We know that you can just go to the freaking moon. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can. So that's why that this is, you know, going back to the VIX, that one chart, chart six I should, we yes. talked about, you know, that VIX just screamed up. And right. you know, that's a good sign to find balls. You know, if the market's going down, that VIX is not moving you know, high or very fast, and the trend's not moving, and the uh, ticks are not really moving a lot, you know, that's a disaster. You know, you, right. you've got a big hole you're going to fall in, you know, yeah. the market's going to fall in. So, you know, when the market does fall, and those and those ticks and VIXs and put call ratio readings don't respond, that means this market's going down big. So, yeah. and, and we folks, didn't have it. Kind of, everything's kind of responding right now, not as much as it did back in the, the bottom we had back in May or so, because that was a long lingered bottom building process. Because we went sideways in that market for about a year. Yes. So, uh, so I'm thinking in general, we're just a, this is a minor, you know, like a, a wave two going on of a bigger wave three going up, or maybe this is wave four, then maybe five is, you know, next one up or something. Yeah, and know. so when I, Tim... I'm not an expert in Elliott Wave. No, so. and when Tim's talking ticks, folks, okay, just to give you an idea, you know, we started out, you know, in uh, four, eight, in 10 trading days, we went from 1268 up to a high yesterday of 1971. And we blew away the last high that was established out here in May. And we didn't get to the high that was established in uh, May of last year, but uh, May of, of, of August. We blew away August. We didn't get to May. So that was quite an acceleration, quite a fast acceleration, actually, you know, on the way up. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, people were caught short, I think. Yes. And, uh, no, so I, absolutely. Kind of, uh, accelerates the market to the upside. And that's kind of what you, you want to see. And that's why I'm thinking here we got, you know, some, you know, everybody thinks this is just a minor bounce today and it could be but i don't know i, I gotta make a decision here you know over the next 10 15 minutes 
you know, do I go long or not? And uh, I know. Kind of looking at it. But, you got to love markets, man. Tim, it's always a pleasure. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Of course, we uh, look forward to uh, talking to you next Tuesday. All right. Thanks, man. Love you, man. Have a Take great care. one. Love you, man. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 84. We got the NASDAQ up 100. SPs are up 20. Let's go see what kind of indice volume we're going to get out of this uh, market today. So, inside the NYSE, yeah, it's going to be short volume, man. I mean, you're at 534 right now. We did 977 yesterday. It's going to be about 850. Inside the composite, you're at 4 billion versus 4.8. You'll get probably 4.5. So we'll go to the spy. The spy is still 10 million shot. Um, you're at 80 million right now. And I say, oh, actually, you're 16 million shot. And we're just talking to Tim about what he's looking for. You're looking for 96 million. We'll see whether they can put 16 million into the close. But, you know, you, you do have, you know, we have, uh, what, 16 and a half minutes, something like that. You know, which is possible. One of the targets we're talking about, the aspect that Nike's coming out with numbers, which will throw uh, some volume into the S&P also. And they come out, oh, no, it won't because... Uh, yeah, see what's happening here. Nike doesn't come out to 615, 1615. Um, that's 415. 
Interesting. So that, that volume is going to get uh, taken on tomorrow, not tonight. You know, not, talk about Nike, man. You talk about a hit, man, right? The lows, 82. The highs, 131. You're trading at 89. This has been on a one-way trip on the way down. I mean, this went from one something, one. I mean, look at that. Yeah, 179. You know, this thing's coming. Look, look at this, man. This is kind of crazy, actually. This is coming into the COVID uh, low bar. Actually, it's digging into it, which is really dangerous. It's, it's into it by five points right now. So that's danger. That's a danger. Nike's actually danger. It's going to go hit the bottom of that bar, you know. That's how this thing shakes out. It's in there pretty good. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw you hot out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. The Gold Report.